Hey everybody, Simon from MTB Mag. Today we're gonna do a little review on these Maxxis Asagai tires. We've been running them on our downhill bike for the past six months, and we're gonna dive in a bit on the details. So some history on the name. Asagai is a bit of an interesting name. This tire was developed in part with Greg Nahr, the winningest downhill rider of all time, and someone who hails from South Africa. Um, the name is derived from the iron tip spears that the Zulu warriors in South Africa used. Um, it plays some homage to where Greg Minar is from and uh, the history of his country. So in the front of the bike, the tire did really well, especially in types of terrain that I'm typically not so comfortable in, like wet, rooty, rocky stuff. I'm more of a jump type guy. I like to drift around a little bit. So when it comes to that steep and really technical stuff that this tire was designed for, it helped instill some confidence and kept me a little bit more in control. So in the back of the bike, I think this tire would be perfect if I was strictly racing technical courses, but I like to slide around a little bit and it was really hard to break free with this tire. It was really confidence inspiring in like berms in a bike park where there's a hard pack surface with small gritty stuff on top. Sometimes you feel like you're on edge and you could slide out at any moment, but this tire, I really felt like I could lean into the corners with confidence and I wasn't gonna go anywhere. Because of the compound and how many knobs there are on these tires, I felt like rolling resistance was a little bit high, especially on hard pack trails. You might not need such a sticky compound, but I think for steeper and more technical trails, it was really key to have so many knobs and such a soft compound of rubber. Having that compound that has a slow rebound makes it so that you don't ping off roots and rocks as much. Sometimes that can cause you to get tossed around. And so when you have a slow rebound, it's like having slow suspension. If you landed a jump with a lot of rebound on your fork, you'd get bounced. So think of that same um, circumstance, but in the tire. If you have a nice slow rebounding knob, you're not gonna get tossed if you hit a small rock or a sharp edge. These tires fall in at a typical Maxxis price point of $90 a tire, which is a lot, but we found really good wear out of these. We rode them in the bike park a bunch and rode them all over North America. And as you can see, they still have a lot of life left in them. So I think the Asa guys are a perfect all around tire. If you're looking for something that's really gonna just work for all conditions, you're not sure if you're gonna travel around or ride in the wet, maybe you'll ride in the dry and you don't wanna switch tires or deal with that, these could be a good choice. Thanks for watching today's short video. Stay tuned for more reviews and don't forget to subscribe.